Hey there, internet friends. Trevor Starkey here from That Nerdy Site with another episode of That Retro Gaming Show. Uh, we are up to Gradius here on the NES Classic playthrough of diving into all these retro hits. Uh, for those who are completely new, I'm just playing through every NES Classic game right now. Uh, and as I said, we're up to Gradius, which is our 10th installment in the series. So we are uh, officially a third of the way through uh, the the... Uh, NES Classic portion of that retro gaming show, uh, NES uh, uh, Classic Gradius. This is definitely one I've played Gradius somewhere, whether it was arcades, the NES Super Gradius on the Super Nintendo, I think was the probably the name of that game, um, given the the trends and all that stuff. Um, and so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna dive in and see how I do in this shmup, uh, this classic shmup that launched North America wise. Uh, circa uh, December of 1986, so that's where we are, because we're playing through chronologically-ish, as uh, chronologically based on the Google release dates that are provided for North America. Uh, in a lot of cases, it's kind of a blur, and all we get is like a month and a year, uh, and this is one of those cases where it didn't say December 12th or something like that, it just said December 1986. So, here we are, December 1986... Gradius. Alright, let's play. Let's do a little bit of a single player. First thing that jumps out is how great that chip tune sounds. I think this, you know, up there probably of the games we've played so far, up there with like Mario in terms of just the the first game to really use the chipset um, to come up with some some you know, nice music for the game. And there, I'm dead. See, I'm... Like this, it definitely kind of puts you in that, like, let's have a space adventure kind of feel. I love seeing all of the doo-doo-doos there in the, uh, the web captioner. So, nice. I love the design of like the the almost frog type turrets that like move with you because they weren't so dang dang it well that was a bummer uh, they weren't they weren't content to just be like yeah yeah these turrets can uh, you know just pop out or something like that it's like no if you miss these guys they will continue <laughs> uh, traveling along and attempt to uh, keep shooting you so. Um, it's cool that they got it like a little bit of a walker vibe to to them. Ah, dang it! But if I don't pay attention to them, then they shoot me there. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a nice little epic "you died" kind of tune. Let's let's try this again. did there to uh, to switch up the attack style I guess oh was that like the the uh, the thing I selected there ah yeah okay you gotta push B to activate the power did not catch that or did not remember that speed up power already activated, right? Or something, maybe. I don't know if there's like a time limit to it or whatever, but... Oh, there we go. Activate the missile. So now I can take out some of those ground dudes without having to go all the way down to the ground. Okay. 
Oh, pff, did not, was not even paying attention to that, uh, that little dude there. Whoops. Ooh, I got, got very lucky there <laughs> in that, uh, I just outmaneuvered some of these baddies. Uh, not gonna let that kill me again. <laughs> The laser going. Oh, that's a that's a noise. Oh, boss time. Nope, not boss time. <laughs> Just we're gonna fuck you with a volcano time. How to how to avoid those things? Okay, that's annoying. How do I? Yeah, because they're just coming so fast. All right, you know what? Screw this. I played around long enough. Let's see how far I can get with the Konami code. This is a Konami game. This is the very first game that introduced the Konami code. So let's bust that bad boy out. And then we got pause, and we got up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, and there we go. I got a whole bunch of new things now. All the power-ups. So many power-ups. Take this, all you bad guys. Yeah. Kablooey. Too, too many things going on screen for the noise, so I couldn't even uh, keep tracking all the bullets and stuff I was dropping. See, the problem is... This still isn't going to help me against the volcanoes. <laughs> so, gulp. When we eventually get there. But whatever. That's a problem for Trevor in about 10 seconds. Not current Trevor. Alright, that was probably closer to like 20 seconds. But whatever. Okay, well, I can still shoot them. So I guess, yeah, okay. Alright, a couple of them definitely trying to mess up my day, though. Haha! -ha. Take that, Volcano Town. Is that like. Yep, no, that's not even the. That's not even really the boss. This dude's the actual boss. And he still kills me. And the problem that I think I found out with the Konami code is it only works like in your first life here. Because I try it here. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. And nothing happens. So, what the hell good is that, Konami? <laughs> you jerks. How do you only make that good for one, one life? This is why the Game Genie was better. Thank you. 
Nope. Okay, that was just dumb on my part. But I think I've got as far about about as far as I can go if I can't even meet the first level with the Konami code active. So I think that's probably a good enough place to stop. We made it halfway through the level. We made it to Volcano Town. I guess it was near the end of the first level there. Twice, without the Konami code. The Konami code got me at least past that section. But then still I was I, I couldn't beat I was I, I just died to the, the boss, so Wah, wah, wah. But at least, like, Konami recognized, or I guess it was probably what what the case on all these code things was, was, like, the devs needed to be able to get through their games in, like, god mode stuff, and so that's where cheat code started really getting added in. It was like, okay, well, we need a way for us to be able to test, like, later parts of the levels without having to play through the whole game every time or without, you know, having to struggle through the whole game every time. So let's, let's, uh implement these things like the Konami code that most famously will give you like a whole bunch of extra lives in, in Contra and stuff. Um, but here they'd put it in Gradius first to give you kind of all the power-ups to make, you know, getting through that, that first chunk of the game a little bit of a breeze. So, uh, and then of course it has become, you know, a, a, a meme well outside the Konami scope of gaming, um, thus far in, in games. So, uh, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. Sometimes you add in select start uh, into the mix. Uh, of course, shout out to uh, Up, Up, Down, Down, the YouTube channel um, featuring Austin Creed, a.k.a. Xavier Woods from WWE, a.k.a. G4's new host. Um, so shout out to, to him for obviously taking inspiration from the Konami code to come up with his name. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode of that retro gaming show i've been your host trevor starkey you can follow me at trevor j starkey on twitter you can follow all of the stuff we do over at that nerdy site uh at that nerdy site on twitter or that nerdy site.com and you can support us on patreon at patreon.com slash that nerdy site if you are so uh willing um as of this recording i will be sitting down tomorrow to do uh, a demon souls stream which i will probably be putting up on YouTube in some phases, but uh, so keep an eye out for that if you want to see more of me suffering, but in a modern game sense. Uh, yeah, anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you for joining me. As always, stay nerdy and be good to each other.